Google says 86. Is bio says over 50 and Google says 86. So the same thing, over 50, 86. <laughs> over 50 could go up to a billion, right? So 86. He's written over 200 short stories. He sold a whopping 350 million copies of his novels and short stories. And he's actually one of the world's most successful authors. Um, as if, if anyone watched my video, please go back and watch it. The one on Agatha Christie, she has, pub has made billions, you know, um, published billions of books as well. Um, so he's not as successful as her, but he's very, very successful in his own right. I mean, 350 million copies of anything is just phenomenal, right? So um, he's had 61 big screen adaptations go off this Halloween if you're into Halloween and watch all 61 of his films because they're all supernatural I'm sure and supernatural thrillers and all of that so go off and watch it this Halloween weekend if you've got time and um, he's published well not published but made 23 television films from his books and also a few stage production this one I didn't know. I don't know if any of you know this. If you do, just put it down in the comment section. He has 31 comics. 31 comics. I, I didn't even know he wrote comics. So he's got 31 comics. Um, there's two franchises. The two biggest franchises are The Dog Tower and The Stand. As I said, I didn't know he did comics. I'm not. In, I used to be into comics when I was a kid, but I'm not into comics. So if any of you are into comics, then you can go off and try and find his comics and see what you think, and leave a comment down below. In 2003, he won the National Book Foundation Medal for distinguished contribution to the American Letters, and in 20, 2014, he won the National Medal of Arts. And on top of all of that. His bio does say he gives a lot back to charity, so he gives a lot to museums and places like that and libraries, you know, he gives a lot to charity and um, he has five top films, five films that he did voiceover for. So <laughs> he's writing books, he's writing comics, he's writing short stories, he's doing Films. Um, I think of the five films that he was in, one was a voiceover, so you would have seen him in the film. It was actually a voiceover. And number four, what we're happy about, we are happy. I thought I'd make number four, four, and five because there's so much things about him. So we're happy that he didn't go into the army because we might have lost a really good author if he went in the army, and we might not, we don't know. And, um, at one point he was going to give up on writing so we are absolutely pleased that he gave up he didn't give up on writing now that's four facts but it's really five because there's so much involved in it so i thought i wouldn't rattle on and on and go on about it so i hope you enjoyed the facts now let's get into the book the book the book the book <laughs> it's a must read yeah i mean like where do I start? This The book actually has an adaptation to HBO. If it's HBO, I'm guessing that it's not cinema. It would be on the television, right? Because HBO is a television channel in America, I think. So there's an adaptation. I've not seen it, but I'm going to say read the book first. Before you watch the adaptation, read the book. Read the book. Um, so um, let's read the back of the book. We always start off with the back of the book, by the way, for whom you don't know. Um, as I say, if you want to purchase a book, if you've never purchased a book before, you've never been to the bookshop, please go to the bookshop. I know you can get stuff on Amazon, but it's just so nice to go to the bookshop. So please go to the bookshop. If you go to the bookshop, you see all those books. You're not sure which one to start reading the back of the book. So it says a horrifying crime, watertight evidence points to a single suspect except he was 70 miles away with an ironclad alibi. That's what, <laughs> I guess that's what police officers say, the alibi was ironclad, you know? And so Detective Anderson sets out to investigate the impossible. How can the suspect be, have been both at the scene 
of the crime and in another town at the same time so that's what the book is about i read that i was gripped and like i'm getting this book but then i love stephen king anyway so i did get the book now before i start the review um for anyone if you've enjoyed the first bit of it where i spoke about the author and stuff like that if you're triggered by um pedophilia and violence against children don't buy this book and also um don't watch the rest of this review if you'll be triggered by that yeah so no complaints down below that i discussed a book that spoke about those things because i'm giving you a warning now just stop the review here and carry on with your day anyway for those of you who are not triggered um where do i start so the book kicks off with a gentleman walking his dog and um you know dogs are laughing and jumping behind and doing things and then this gentleman he came across a body a body of a child who and this child was called frank peterson and a lot of the book is surrounding the peterson family i'm not going to give too much away because i do want you to read the book but a lot of the book is surrounding the peterson family and frank peterson this gentleman came up in his corpse and it was found in the local park and it was totally violated so this little boy i think he was 12 was totally violated i'm not going to get into it because i don't want to trigger anyone several eyewitnesses came forward and they um pointed at the local coach who coached their football team is it football i think it's football like little league coach so yeah and i oh know it would be baseball I'm, i can't remember one of the two <laughs> football or baseball and um but he was a little league coach and his name was terry maitland so several people including a child saw terry maitland leaving the scene in a van and um, they know him because he teaches their children sports they know him because his family is known you know he's like a local man that everybody loves all these people point the finger at him that they saw him in the vicinity they saw him with blood they he spoke to them all these different things and so the detective detective anderson getting all of this um feedback you know what do, wouldn't be called feedback wouldn't what do you do when you go to the police station evidence getting all this evidence from people eyewitness evidence that you know this is the man we saw in the vicinity even a little girl is saying yes i know him i see him all the time i know his children i go to school with them you know all these different things and so there was also dna evidence there was um fingerprints witnesses all these things saying that the coach did it so detective anderson he told detective anderson child as well and detective anderson was absolutely mad he's like i'm gonna get this guy he taught my son my skin is crawling how could he do this did he do anything to my child did he do anything to anybody else's child so he's like i'm gonna publicly humiliate him district attorney got involved and they went and they arrested Terry Maitland in front of the whole town because it's a small town and everybody goes Terry to the sporting games. They arrested him in front of the whole town. His wife and two daughters were there and it was just absolutely chaos and mayhem, you know? Um, after this, like, the everybody was, was just, can't believe it, that this man that everybody loves, you know, has done this to a child, a local child that everybody also loves. So that's what the book is about now the, the most important aspect of the book for me and that's a roundup for what the book is like but the most important aspect of the book for, for me was that it was so meticulous meticulously written what i found is if i read a page and i didn't like i wasn't paying attention maybe i'm making a cup of tea somebody's talking to me and i carry on to the next page i had to go back because i'm like oh when did that happen you know things were moving so fast at the beginning of the book is a little bit slow but after that it picked up and things started moving fast you know so i had to backtrack the characters were likable i actually felt like detective anderson i actually felt i could be he could be my neighbor we could be friends you know i could be a part of the the, the team that was leading the crime investigation so I think what King did he made him likable even though he made such an error you know he made him likable 
um, the, the smallest plot was just blown up into a big thing so it would be the tiniest little thing um, I don't want to give away the book but it's, you just have to read this book the tiniest little plot was blown up beyond recognition it's like and blown up in a supernatural way in a way that I could never even dream of coming up with those things you know it, it, it was phenomenal that's what I'm going to say I'm gonna use the word phenomenal um, because the supernatural things were horrifying they were frightening they sat on your brain you're like oh my god I wouldn't have thought of that oh let me go back into the book and see how it led up to that again you know that sort of stuff um, but for me the most in important aspect of the book is how he was able to King was able to generate suspense you know it's like a suspense supernatural thriller the suspense was oh, oh let me let me read 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 so I can find out how how did that happen how did this happen oh my god you know all these different things and then he brought in characters from other places and but likable people people that are everyday people your neighbors down the street the people you go to the supermarkets with you know just people that you would see every day in your life you know now i'm going to move on to my section for quotes in the book i'm going to read page six not the whole page of course we haven't got all day for that i'm going to read page six when detective anderson spoke to ritz right so that's the background of it ritz was given his evidence his um is eyewitness evidence and Ritz said um it's which Ritz said I can't swear it was the white van and I didn't go back that way so I don't know if it was gone but I bet it was and you know what that means you know what that means detective Anderson is like no tell me what it means and he said Ritz said that he might have been watching me the killer standing in the trees and watching me it gives me the creeps just thinking about it now i mean then i was pretty much fixated on the blood and keeping dave from yanking dave is the dog from yanking the arm off off his socket that's a socket of the kid oh let's not get into that but pretty gruesome when you read the book pretty gruesome let's move on to page seven and what fits this is ritz again he says he was on his stomach and the branch was sticking out of his body part let's not say where um, that was bloody to the branch part of the bark was stripped and there was a handprint I saw it clear as day Dave wasn't barking anymore he was howling poor thing and I just don't know who would do something like that he must have been a maniac will you catch him detective Anderson and detective anderson says oh yes we'll catch him so you know like suspense the drama the drama of it all <laughs> and i do love a bit of drama the drama of it all um the next section similar books now similar to other stephen king books but not to other authors i've read however if you're looking for similarity it wouldn't be in a book i would say it would be in the x files you know when you watch the X Files and it's all these supernatural stuff, that it would definitely be in the X Files. Now to wrap it up, let's give it a rating as I always do to wrap up the book. I will give it an eight out of ten. Um, I love the book. It took me on a roller coaster ride up, down, round London. You know. However, I feel like it's similar to other Stephen King novels. So for that reason, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I actually think it, I've not seen the HBO series, but I think it would have made a really fantastic um, television series. So 8 out of 10, I think that's generous anyway. If you agree with me, if you've read the book, you agree 8 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 6 out of 10. Let me know, put in the comments below, and thank you for watching. Once again, Stephen King, the master of supernatural suspense thrillers. So thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, 
share subscribe with all and share with all your friends i feel like you're not sharing share my videos you love them and if you're watching them please subscribe it means that you're interested in what i have to say and i'm interested to tell you what i have to say so thank you so much for watching once again and i'm going to repeat myself like share and subscribe